South Carolina lawmakers continue their look into the State Department of Juvenile Justice. The agency's director was questioned by state lawmakers today for hours about serious concerns to the department. Our Jason Raven was at that meeting and tells us what officials and lawmakers had to say. Some lawmakers on the panel said they are worried about the current state of affairs at the agency. And even one lawmaker asked the executive director if he would resign. Director Pugh took over as interim director in 2017. It was confirmed a year later. Thursday, he was able to speak to lawmakers regarding an audit report that alleges due to staffing shortages, there is increased violence at DJJ facilities and a handful of other issues. When I, when I gladly took this position, I understood that the agency needed a lot of repair. And, and I was hopeful that I would get the support from staff, the General Assembly, stakeholders, all who were you know, involved to make those changes. The committee, made up of senators and House members, questioned Pew for three hours about concerns in the LAC report and the state of the agency. Pew says they are taking steps to address staffing issues by stepping up recruitment and continue to ask for more money to raise salaries. He says the agency historically has faced problems. We just ask that we be allowed to receive the help that we need and the support that we need to continue the work that we've begun. Senator Dick Arputlian asked Director Pugh why certain incidents weren't reported to state law enforcement. Senator Arputlian believes DJJ may have broken the law by failing to report these incidents to SLED and other agencies. Well, sir, you don't know the law. You can't tell me how many of the people you're underpaying were beat up last week. What, I mean, I don't understand why you're head of this agency. I don't understand why you're still there. Would you consider resigning? No, sir. Okay. Then I guess that's all I have. Now, Harpootlian asked Chairwoman Senator Katrina Sheely to arrange a meeting with the governor to talk about how the agency is being run. Now, Pew says it takes time to implement some of these improvements they've been working on and will be putting in a new camera system soon. Lawmakers on this panel say they'll be meeting again in the near future. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. A spokesperson for Governor McMaster sent out a statement following the meeting saying in part, Director Pugh has a tough job leading an agency that has a long history of struggling with the difficult task of incarcerating and rehabilitating juveniles. Governor McMaster will continue to work with the General Assembly to improve the agency.